It was already a beautiful day, everything was going our way, when suddenly something extra came in the mail. It was monkey time, it was time for the do the monkey time, come on and do the monkey time, because it's monkey time, it's monkey time, we got another package from but the Baxter Monkey, Monkey Time. So a lot of you have been following these videos and know that uh, Baxter Monkey was one of the first to start donating to this studio so that we're able to make kits and pass them on to all the kinds of people who are home and unable to get to the art store right now or even leave their house so that they can learn crafts, continue the crafts they do, um, get better, do stuff with their kids, all kinds of fun stuff. Um, and she's continuing to send us amazing support. She not only sends things, she's working with us to get a rock tumbler right now, which you're going to hopefully see in some upcoming videos. She is also a wealth of artistic information, um, often helpful. You'll find her on the Facebook groups, and you'll find her in comments. You will find her answering people's questions, giving helpful hints. She has done both as an amateur and professional many different types of art in her time. Um, not just uh, the jewelry art that we do here, but a lot of other types. Anyway, let's get to it. Let's get this package opened. We've become an expert at opening packages now. So I found this new method where you just take the box and you throw it down like three flights of concrete steps. And when it gets to the bottom, it's a lot easier to open. So I'm going to, you know what? I don't have to go. I don't, I'm too lazy to go to the steps right now. Let's just see if we can open this with our tools. Hi, Calypso, the things that you've shown us, the places you've gone, and the stories you tell. Hi, Calypso, we sing to your spirit. I'm just a little hoarse. I'm just going to square this open. It's square. It's square. Yep, that's pretty much it. Put a few staples in there for good measure. Pour some glue over the top. All right, and I think we're ready. Oh, this stuff is gross. Ugh. All right, get open, 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 open. Bam! Oh, scared me. Ooh. We got some nice bubble wrap. Oh, I got Sharpie all over my finger. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a note. It's a treasure map, I think. Ooh, what is this? What is this? A Papa John's gift card. Oh, pizza, 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 pizza. Pizza forever, pizza forever. Pizza, 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 pizza. Pizza, 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 pizza. This is Lapis. The beads are probably color enhanced. Enjoy some pizza on me. More videos of cats and piano and dancing. Much love. Baxter Monkey. Oh, we're having requests now. It's um, it's like karaoke. Let's see. Let's make sure we put this on the list. Cats, piano, dancing. All right. We'll call this the Cat's Piano Dancing Channel. Ooh, what's in here? It's so pretty. It won't open. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Lapis 8mm. So great, so great. We needed 8mm. And there's guns, 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 tons of them. And more cabochons. For all of you who haven't been watching these videos, these are the most beautiful cabochons. Um, lapis lazuli, all different styles and types. Like, like, when I say styles and types, I mean patterns. Each of these stones is so unique. Some of them look like the earth elongated. The earth, as we see here, is flat, but also a little bit round, but also oval. It's the oval earth. You haven't heard of the oval earth movement yet. Well, let me introduce you or induct you or abduct you. No, I'm so bad. Um, so these are beautiful, and they're all going to be going into kits for people who need to make beautiful pieces. We might save one and make a beautiful piece for a video. What else do we have here? Oh, this is so much fun. So much fun. 
I don't have time to get my tools for this. I'm just going to use scissors. The, the medieval practice of opening stuff with scissors rather than the powerful tools I demonstrated just a minute ago. Ooh, little baby cabochons. These are, like, so cute. They're also lapis. We're not in focus, or you could really see the detail. Only I get to see it. Okay, I'll let you see. Do you see? So pretty. So, pretty. so many of them. I am so blessed. I just get to own them for a couple minutes, maybe a couple days, and then they get passed on to beautiful people around the country and maybe around the world. We're working on shipping right now. Oh, look at these. I think, look at these clear ones. Is that, I think, yeah, these are color enhanced Jasper, these purple ones. Uh, these I think are real amethyst, but like clear, 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 or maybe they're fluorite. Not sure. Um, these are definitely malachite, beautiful hearts. I have a bunch of these that she sent me, these little hearts, and they're drilled straight through, are they? Yep, straight through. So um, they, they're, I'm going to make them into some pretty earrings at some point. Um, there's more in there. Oh, my goodness. So pretty. Yep. Look at that. Okay. What else do we have? 18 square. There's enough here to make so many beautiful videos. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, goodness. Goodness, 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 goodness. Chain. We need more chain. This is a pretty, pretty chain. All different kinds of chain. I love all different styles of chain. Like, look. Look at this style. I've seen that style before. Like, almost every day, though, I run into a new style of chain. You get so many weird different types of chain links. I need these the big jump rings. They're like, um... Antique copper, antique brass, and that's like a dull black gun metal. Like the big ones. I'm always running out of the big ones. They're so hard to find. And these, they're chunky too. These are thick and chunky. The worst thing is to order jump rings online and get flimsy ones that are like so thin they're not even worth anything. What is this? Ultimate clay extruder. What? Oh my goodness. Oh, we're going to have so much fun with the ceramics coming up. The ceramic stores are closed. I haven't been able to do my ceramics. I've been like, oh, I mean stores, the ceramic schools, the places I've been doing ceramics. I have clay at home. I don't I, I don't have a working kiln right now, so we have to wait for them to open back up. But it's going to be soon, I hope. Oh, this is so great. So great. We got, see, this is what our kits look like. We get these from the dollar store, and they're perfect. And we do, we usually do 10 millimeter, 8 millimeter, 6 millimeter, 4 millimeter little beads. And here we, these two, we usually do ear, earring pairs, like different stones that can fit nicely in earring pairs. Here we'll do like two different colors of chips and two different colors of chips. And then here we'll just have big giant pendant stones and other odd assortment of different types of stones. And that pretty much makes up our kits. We have like three levels, like beginners, intermediate, and then advanced. And um, join our beads and stones kit on, uh, group on Facebook. And we put like, we try to put like three to six kits out every day, but we're trying to do more because there's like hundreds of people on the waiting list. So we just have to hire more help or something. Um, because we try to put a fair amount. We like really waste, not waste, but we spend a lot of time trying to make each kit fair and, and, and have similar amounts. And oh my gosh, look at these lapis. Are they even all lapis? That's lapis. Yeah, that's lap. They're all lapis, but like that looks almost like a tiger's eye, that yellow in there. And that's all purple. This is blue, yellow, purple. I, that's the typical green you see in lapis, that green and then the rainbow flash. But like... When you see a blue, that's like, what? See, that has blue and green. Look, so beautiful. This is, it's literally in my top, it's, it's my favorite stone. I mean, I go back and forth. Sometimes, sometimes uh, Jasper is my favorite stone, but nothing flashes like, like a um, Labradorite. It should be ashamed of itself, but no, it's beautiful. Don't be ashamed. Don't ever be ashamed. You're beautiful. Don't be afraid to flash. Okay, so, um, bubble wrap. This is really what we need the most. If people around the world could send us bubble wrap, um, we're trying to make all the kits very secure. There's more lapis snuck in there. It's lapis everywhere. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Um, don't anybody say it's sodalite. I love sodalite. I adore sodalite. But this is genuine lapis from a dealer. This is a pink stone. What is this? This is dragon vein agate. Ooh. That's pretty. And there's a bunch of these. This one is, does not say, very pretty. It's almost positive that's another agate. Ooh, we have more wire. 18 gauge vintage bronze. Yep, I love vintage bronze. That's my third favorite. It's my first, well, my first most used is silver, and then antique copper and vintage bronze. 
Um, not a toy intended for adult use only. Well, that's, I guess I don't get to use this. And Aunt, Aunt Jamie, you got to take this away from me before I hurt myself. Do, 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 do. I was about to run out of this too. Um, let's see. Ooh, we have more pretty stones. Look at how gorgeous these are. Look at this one. Oh my goodness. Ocean Jasper. There's some medium sized cabochons. Well, medium compared to what those large and small I showed you earlier. More kit boxes. If anybody wants to raid their local Dollar Tree, um, we always buy out all they have. They usually have about 20. We buy them all out, and then they don't get more in for a month or two. And then we drive around looking for more Dollar Trees. That's how many kits we're making up. It's crazy. So it's so helpful that uh, the Baxter is sending us those plastic boxes. Chain. Now, right, here's the weird thing. I just ordered chain. I'm out of chain. Like, I have little bits and pieces here, but I'm really out of, like, having the variety I need for making a, a necklace video as often as I like. And so I ordered some, and it hasn't gotten here. It's running late, so this is going to come in handy perfectly. And silver and antique copper, my two most used colors. That's black gun metal. That's my fourth most used. It goes silver, antique copper, vintage bronze, and then black gun metal. Those are my colors. And then I'm getting a lot of gold stuff from people, so I might venture into gold color, not real gold, because I'm not that wealthy. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of just a peasant. Just a little villager peddling away at my little crafts. Sorry, this rustling is probably sounding horrible on video. Voila! Oh, it's still in this package. Let's try that again. Oh, no. I'm trying to do that. I would be terrible at doing that where you pull the tablecloth off and try to make all the dishes stay. Ha ha! There we go. Let's see if I can impress you this time. Are you not entertained? <laughs> I really, that, that was a movie line that was not meant to be said in a, a strange Dutch accent. Ugh. Chain. Chain is so beautiful. It's so fun to play with. Like, ah, okay. Thanks again to Baxter Monkey and all the people who are donating, all the people who are contributing. There are pictures of their own art and pieces and everything on the Facebook page, on the Stone Kits page. Um, we hope to see all of you there. If anybody would like to donate anything, go to the Facebook page in the description and message me from there and I'll give you more information. This is a beautiful day. All right, I'll see you guys hopefully in a bunch of upcoming videos.